Hi everyone, Lane Diceman here again. Um, a slightly unusual unboxing this week, at least for me. Um, I'm on holiday at the moment, so um, I don't have a tripod, I don't have a microphone, so I'm sort of jerry-rigging this. Oh, well, you don't need to be bored with that. Anyway, I uh, picked this up today in a local game store to where I am, which is um, sort of the Bournemouth and Pool area of the UK. My really cool little shop actually called Entoyment. Not sure about the pun, but it's a cool shop anyway. And it looks to me as if it has some promo cards on the front of it. So let's have a quick look, see what these are. So without actually opening them, ah, there we go. Ah, very cool. The Cursed Idol, a solo promo for Lost Expedition. So I'm just reading it myself. Well, that's very cool. Uh, because obviously I couldn't tell that uh, until uh, taking it off the box there. So let's have a quick look to see what's in here. I've not played the game yet, so um, unfortunately I do not understand any of the um, symbols, etc. that are on there. I just really like the art of this card actually, because obviously you've got the, someone picking up a, an ancient idol here, presumably that's some kind of lost tomb or whatever, and uh, becoming possessed. In fact, there's the idol itself, I guess. Ancient trap. Again, very cool artwork, and I don't know if that's an actual card, presumably not, that's just a backing piece there to tell you what it is. What I like about this game actually, and what is drawn me to it initially, um, is the sort of Tintin style artwork. And also, you know, Lost Expeditions, uh, it's, a, it's a very cool sort of theme as well. So let's have a look see what's inside. Actually, get into the oh, having problems here. There we go. So, so the box is hinged. So, we've got the Osprey Games that, um, leaflet. This game, by the way, uh, Odin's Ravens, really great game. It's a two player only game. I saw this in the game shop today as well, which looks quite interesting. So I'm going to check that out as well. Never heard of Star Cartel, but uh, there you go. Then we have some counters. Uh, presumably this is health, well, it looks a bit food, I guess, and uh, ammunition. Um, there's a morning and evening counter there. And obviously something that says Expedition Leader, which I has uh, some relevance in the game. We've got a. A manual, again, full colour, nice and spaced out, good example there of play I guess. Uh, I've got head to head rules here, That's solo rules, yeah, so we've got solo rules as well. Ah, uh, co-op rules. A little different one. I will do a review of this one. I, know I keep saying that in my videos, but <laughs> I will do a review of this one and start doing more reviews of games um, in terms of how they solo. So I'm, I'm not sure if the, what the addition of uh, cooperative and solo is, because normally they're basically the same, aren't they? But there must be a slight difference here, cause hence I'm having a different section of the book. Oh, we've got some some meeples here. Extra. Baggy for some whatever reason. Anything else on here? So it's these are the other characters that you can uh, play. I'm assuming that this is some kind of um, not special power exactly, but what they're good at. Because otherwise, there's just because there's nothing else on these cards apart from their names. So presumably that in the court, the um, icon in the corner. Has some relevance to what they're good at doing. And these are some of the map tiles. Really, um, I'm not sure if I've come across on camera, but very, very vibrant art. Very uh, green. <laughs> so the, I, I presume these are actually. Oh, there we go. There's a temple. It's like a Mayan style temple. 
So in these days of the character cards, presumably the map tiles, these have a more of a uh, sort of encounters, I guess, or something that look to them. Definitely need to grow a thumbnail, like an unboxing or cellophane ripping thumbnail. Okay, so we'll just have a quick flick through these. What's quite nice about these as well is the um, how they're, uh, the box describes them as such as they're oversized. That, that there particularly, to me at least, very evocative of sort of Tintin style artwork. Skip through these a second just to see. Oh, Anaconda, nice. Ah, Piranha. <laughs> uh, poisonous frogs. Plenty of uh, scary uh, or uh, obstacles that you can come up against, presumably. Scorpions, crocodiles. What else do we have? Venomous spider. It's all in there. All the good stuff you definitely wouldn't want to meet if you're out on an expedition in the jungle. Rapids, cougars, ruins, injuries. Electric eel. Okay, well, that's not something I would have thought you'd come across. Good definitely. Packery doesn't look particularly dangerous, but uh, maybe it's got a gun. Um, some locals. Some more locals. Don't look particularly happy. Vantage point. Uh, rickety rope bridge. A monkey, who's stolen your hat. Leeches. Spoiled supplies. Swamp. And they've got player aids. So, yeah, so it was food, ammunition, and health, strange enough. Ah, expertise. So, yeah, there we go. So, as I was saying earlier, those are icons in the corner must, must uh, apply to those characters. So, you've got jungle, presuming that, well, I was about to say, presumably that's some kind of navigation, but clearly it's not because that's what's underneath. And camping. I'm not sure what's on the back of some of these. Um, again, I, this is just talking about the icons on the cards, clearly, actually. Death. <laughs> Don't think we need much explanation of that one. Actually, what's the back of these? Ah, okay. So, yeah, the back of the cards has got that um, compass rose on it. So, I hope that was useful to those of you thinking of buying the game. Um, I'm actually going to give it a go now and play it, uh, and then I'll do a review of it as a solo game. Probably when I get home, because it's a bit easier to do uh, with a type of tripod rather than what I'm doing currently. Anyway, so you've seen, um, yeah, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, see you soon.